For today's vet segment, Dr. Mike and I are dropping into Green Cross Vets in Queensland to chat to one of their vets about regular vet checks. Great. Thank you. So, Mike, what's the hype with vet checks? You know, being a pet owner is really, really good fun, but it does come with a lot of responsibility. Oftentimes, we don't even look after ourselves that well, but when it comes to our pets, we've really got to take good care of them. They can't really act for themselves, so we've got to step in. And we're talking to Tim from Green Cross Vets, which is one of the you know, biggest veterinary clinic groups in Australia. Keen to hear, what do you do at Green Cross and how do you look after pets? Yeah, we like our owners to bring their, their pets in twice a year so that we can give right. them a good check over and, and make sure they're healthy. And we know that dogs age faster than humans, and yeah, so checking yeah. them regularly allows us to find stuff that you might not recognise in your pet when they're just at home with you. So is it just is it twice a year for all the animals that come to the vet? Yeah, we say twice, twice for life, basically. Twice and so one of those visits we often will give them a vaccination if it's indicated, and then six months later we'll check up and make sure there's no behavioural problems and everything is sounding and looking well. So we don't need so many vaccinations once we're mature. Why do we have to keep vaccinating animals? Yeah, our, our dogs are a bit indiscriminate with their behaviours and so they do like to snuffle around the ground and they, they're meeting dogs from all sorts of walks of life and we're not really sure about the diseases that they might be passing around. So um, we, we like to make sure that they stay up to date. So what sorts of things would you be doing just in an average vet check at Green Cross? Yeah, we, we like to try and keep it a bit systematic so I don't miss in anything. There's, there's lots of things to check and, and, and like you said, Rex can't tell us that he's, he's sore here, there or anywhere. So we usually begin at the, at the front and we go through each of the systems of the body checking carefully. Um, and we also use instruments such as your stethoscope and your ophthalmoscope to look in his eyes, listen to his heart and we check inside their ears as well. So who's this? This is Rex. This is Rex, and uh, what's Rex doing here? Yeah, Rex has been brought in by his owners for one of his twice yearly health checks. Yeah. Um, he's a five-year-old Maltese boy. <laughs> Just wondering, at Green Cross, if you needed to take things further, what other sort of specialist equipment might you have on site? Yeah, if, if we do a clinical exam and, and we find that, that Rex has a specific organ problem or we're worried about something, we might talk to the owners about doing some x-rays or ultrasounds or maybe um, doing some blood tests as well. And they're pretty easy, non-invasive tests that can give you loads of information. So as uh, dogs and cats and all other animals age, do um, the vet checks get more detailed? Yeah, it's a really good question. We when they're young, we would do mostly clinical exams and talk to the owners about how they're feeling and eating and drinking yeah. and moving once they get to a certain age. So once you're about middle age, so around about seven for, for dogs and cats, we like to do some general wellness blood testing and urinalysis to pick up things that are subclinical, so things that you or I, even in a clinical exam, you wouldn't pick up. Okay. Now, I imagine you see mostly dogs or cats, but what other sorts of animal, animals do you see? Yeah, well, honestly, we, we see mostly the white fluffy dogs. Yeah, um, yeah but, um, we, we, we see, in addition to that, we see loads of wildlife in here, particularly yeah. being long hours, you get lots of wildlife yeah. from suburbia. Um, plenty of birds and, and small pocket pets, like guinea pigs and rats and mice, we see often as well. Do you find that uh, pets are nervous when they come to the vet? Yeah, it depends. A lot of these guys that come in here, they think it's brilliant. They come in and they chat to the nurses and they have their treats and, and they come in here bouncing in twice a year. But having said that, there are some pets that, that don't think it's very fun at all. And, <laughs> and uh, we need to be just very gentle and very calm and, right. and, and be careful with them. Sure.